If you want to know how you can make a game like Tower of Hell, make sure to watch my tutorials and watch part 1 first. Enjoy the video! Hey guys, and welcome back to this video. In this series, I make a game like Tower of Hell, and um, this is part 3 of the series, and uh, it is not the last part. Uh, part 4 is going to be the last part. We're going to try to make some mutators, uh, like Extra Time, Bunny Hop, maybe. And we're going to check that out. So, 80% um, of my viewers have not been subscribed to me yet. So, if you are not subscribed to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below. It is free, no money costs. And um, if, you're be if you want to become a member, sure. Uh, click the blue join button down below. Uh, you, you can get awesome perks. And it's really cool. So um, in this in this uh, part, I want to be making some uh, like a stage and like like you know those towers, and then they will change after the timer ends. So we're gonna be doing that today, and I hope you enjoy. And um, let's begin. So if you see, um, you see like three. Well, you see one tower, but there are three inside of it. Uh, I made these towers really, really quickly. I'm going to be making these a uh, model down in the description so you don't have to do any single thing. We're going to be doing a few things. So you want to go into replicated storage. I'm going to making a folder. I'm going to call it towers. I'm going to put all three towers inside of that. Boom. And they're gone. Oh, no, newbie. Oh, wait, I forgot. Whoa, I forgot one thing. That is a spawn location in the middle. Do not remove the spawn location, just keep it there, we're, we're gonna set every tower to there. <laughs> you can get the three towers and put them into towers, and they're gone now. But we're gonna be making a script for that in uh, service script service, so once in kill handler, reset a game. Um, so we're gonna reload the character, we can do... The following script, and um, it's gonna be easy. So it's gonna be easy if game the workspace colon find first child tower one, then game the workspace dot tower one <coughs> colon destroy. Else, uh, no print. <coughs> Sorry, no tower one found. You want to be copying this and paste, paste, because you have three towers. If you get multiple towers, make sure to add it. Uh, par, par, uh, tower three, two, tower two, three, three, and two. Um, that's easy. So we can go into leader stats, maybe. Uh, where is our t uh, timer here? So over here you see game to replicate a storage dot kill all players call fire server V. Uh, we're gonna make it a new remote event kill all players, but um, new tower, and then game dot replicate a storage dot tower. Uh, yep, new tower. Call on fire server V again. Because we may need that. So, um, that's easy. So, you can go to your script over here. Game dot replicate a storage. Dot new tower. Dot on server event. Call on connect function V. For now, we're just going to print V. And we're going to test something out. Seconds. Um, 10. Just want to test it out. Play. I'm curious and testing it out. Just want to know if everything works. Let's see. Okay, our height bar still works. Okay, two, one. Okay, reset it. Yep, no tower one, no tower two, and no tower three. Found. So that is everything works. And um, of course, because we did print V, what we gotta do, uh, we can do just player and print player.name. So let's just that out really quickly but you already see uh it did not find a tower one a tower two of a tower three 
get a part real quick. Tower one. Maybe that's gonna work. Maybe. Just maybe. We don't know. One boom. Okay, yep, newbie derp dev. Well, yeah, because it's not an actual model. So everything works from there. So we're gonna continue right now. So I find the error over here is a local randomized method method random one out of five star tower, but it's supposed to be tower uh, uh, like square brackets uh, math random one out of tower, and that should fix it. Uh, before we do so, go into your um, kill handler and get these lines and place them above the um, um, kill player. Oh my god. There, because uh, that's gonna be working more uh, like efficient. So let's test that out real quick. Okay, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. It takes a long time, man. As you can see, now we got one of the random towers, and that's just a glitch because now if we wait another ten seconds, uh, boom. Yep, and we just got a different tower, and tower 2 has been selected. So, uh, what are we going to be doing? Well, I don't think we need any to do anything for that. Um, maybe in here... Well, you can do print, maybe like, mm, tower 2 was destroyed... But it's optional. I just like to print every single thing I do. Print three and tower one. No, not insert. Tower one was destroyed. We're gonna do one final test and then um, I think we're gonna do one more thing. Okay, there. We just got a tower and now you can go over here and get on the tower. And you can build anything you want inside of it. That, that, that's just your choice. And we get reset it. Boom. And we get a new tower. So yeah, that is um, uh, the tower system. But we did need to do one more thing. Um, I believe. If what if you do? What if you just at least get one tower already? Just want to see what happens. Because if that works, then problem solved. Two, one. Okay, reset it. Tower one. Yep. Okay, so that works. Uh, tower one was destroyed. No tower two. Reset. Okay. Think. Yep. Now we just got a different tower. We got tower one. Tower one was destroyed. Okay. Well, the printing is just a bit glitchy, but you know, every time you get it. Yep. Now we got a different. Um. So that works. And let's see what we can do more. In the last part, in the next part, we're gonna making we're gonna be finishing this along with the mutators. So stay tuned for that. It's it's, it's a short tutorial, but if you enjoyed, do not forget to like and subscribe. And um, if you enjoyed, just do those. And I'll see you on the next video.